Hey guys, Toby Mathis here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to become a millionaire with a Roth IRA by maximizing tax-free money. By following these rules, you can open a Roth IRA and start investing in ways that help you reach your financial goals. So first off, let's go over what is a Roth IRA. Roth IRA is really simple. Once you start looking at any retirement account, whether it be a traditional IRA, a SEP, a simple, 401k, all these things, you start realizing that, th that they're in different categories. The main category is what's called a defined contribution, and that's really what this is. In a Roth IRA, for example, you can put up to $6,500 a year into your Roth IRA, and you will never pay tax on any of the gain or any of its uh, uh, or any of those monies ever again, even the return of that money. You'll never pay tax on because it is made with after-tax dollars. Now, this differs from a traditional IRA where you're actually taking a deduction. So in a Roth IRA, no deduction. But then we never pay tax ever again on any of that money or its growth. How severe can this be? Well, if you've ever heard of, uh, of, of PayPal, you know that one of its uh, founders, Thiel, put his interest in PayPal into his Roth IRA and ended up having over, I think it was $4 trillion, $4 billion of growth, <laughs> not trillions, but it was billions of dollars of growth that he will never pay tax on. The IRS, the IRS did not like that, so they actually attacked it and they lost because the laws are quite clear. If I put $5,000 into a Roth IRA and it grows to 500,000, so long as I follow the rules, I get to take that money out when I retire tax-free. If I need the $5,000, I can always take that back out. But the growth, I just have to meet certain limitations and it's tax-free. How do I open up one of these things? You could go to any major uh, investment house, whether it be Fidelity, TD Ameritrade, uh, Charles Schwab or whatever. You can go there and open it up and invest in securities and never have to worry. But if you want to maximize your Roth IRA and you want to actually control a lot of your strategies and you're a real estate investor, you would actually open up a self-directed Roth IRA, which you absolutely can do. There's other ways to fund your Roth IRA that can get money in there. You can just put in the money that allows every year. The IRS publishes this information out and there's always going to be, here's how much I can put in. If you're over 50, here's a catch up. And every year there's, there's a dollar amount. We're at, we're at 6,500 right now. But there's other ways to put money into that Roth as well. And that's by converting a traditional IRA into a Roth IRA. And then you just pay the tax on the conversion amount. So let's say you're in one of those years, like last year, 2022 was right. And the market went crashing down. You know, what's pretty good time for people to start converting their traditional IRAs to their, to a Roth, because you're saying, Hey, the market's depressed. I'm going to pay tax at this level get that money in there and it's gonna grow back up and I'll pay no tax on any of that. I'm willing to do that. Or you have a year where you're able to create losses. You're a real estate investor and you're able to create a bunch of losses. And you're looking at a year where, you, shoot, you may be at zero and you say, you know what, this is a good time for me to convert $100,000 from my traditional IRA over to my Roth IRA. I'll take that tax because I'm really not gonna pay much on it. So there's a ton of ways to get money in there. All you, we even have ways to get over $66,000 a year into a Roth 401k. And no, I did not misspeak. Yes, you can do that. And if you are investing, you can absolutely have a Roth IRA that controls other entities. For example, if you are in real estate and you wanna have asset protection in your Roth IRA that is self-directed, you can actually set up an LLC to have it to, uh, to do it that way. How much can I put away? It's really up to you. It's up to your scenario. There's things called backdoor Roths. There's super mega backdoor Roths. There's all these different ways to get money into a Roth. At the end of the day, you talk to a professional and they will show you some great ways. But here, I'm gonna plant one seed. Doop. If you have kids and you have a business, pay your kids. They can make up to $13,850 this year and pay zero federal income tax, zero taxes, and won't even have to file a tax return 
for example, if, if, if you're a small business, maybe you're a sole proprietor, partnership, maybe you have real estate investments and you pay your child 5,000 bucks, you know that they could put that right into a Roth IRA. They don't even have to file a tax return and they'll never pay tax on that $5,000 or any of its growth ever again. You could put up to $6,500, but they have to earn the money. What if it's, what if they're just a minor and they can't even open up the account? Great. Open up a custodial account for them. Talk to your uh, either self-directed IRA company, talk to your securities company, your brokerage house, but somehow, some way, get that money in for those kids because the way money grows, whoop, it grows, whoop, goes right on up on a hockey stick when it's called compounding. And if you don't pay tax on it, it grows that much faster. So if you can plant those seeds, especially for a young person, or if you are a young person, you're in your 20s, plant those seeds now and let your investments grow for 30, 40 years and you'll be ridiculously happy at how much is sitting in there when it comes time to retire. And you can defeat all these horrible things we're seeing in the press about people not being prepared for their retirements. And you'll not only be prepared, but you'll be well prepared to have an awesome retirement because you have so much money sitting there. So that's how you use that Roth IRA.